Hey, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Wealth Channel, On Point Reviews, all day, every day. Welcome back yet again, guys. Happy Sunday to all my old subscribers. Welcome back yet again. It's really great to see you all. And if you are new to the channel, this is the first time you've seen this video, uh, whether through YouTube, Google, or Facebook. Welcome, guys. Make sure you hit like and subscribe before you head out because we've got a lot of videos right here to talk about. Now, today we are going to talk about a uh, fragrance that I am going to dedicate to someone, okay? Uh, this Friday was the birthday of one of the friends of the channel. His name's Jeremy. And this is basically uh, one of Jeremy's absolute favorites. And the fragrance that we will be talking about today, which is Jeremy's favorite, is none other than Arabian Oud's Sir Al Kalamat or Kalamat Black, okay? Either way, you guys probably know this as Kalamat Black or Black Kalamat. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. We will be talking about the scent today. What can you guys expect? Is this a great fragrance to those that are not attuned to Middle Eastern scents or have never tried Arabian Oud? We will be talking about all that today. So hang on tight, guys. Sir Al Kalamat is coming. Let's hit the music. Okay, we're back guys, Ser Al Kalimat. Now, just by looking at this right here, the presentation, this definitely looks like a bookcase or a book rather. If you can see right here, it definitely looks like it because Ser Al Kalimat basically means magic words. So magic Arabic words right here that of course, I don't know what these are. Maybe you guys can help me out, but basically means magic words, magical and powerful okay so definitely you got this bookcase or book like presentation right here now let's look at the bottle itself right here same thing you still got the magic words right here and you've got a metallic side part which says kalamat right here with the arabian oud logo now this is something i do want to say that on nearly all black kalamat bottles they do come with a really weird or uh, you could say crappy sprayer. I'm not the type to really talk about the sprayers. I know a lot of other reviewers do that. Um, you know, they compliment the, the, the strong sprayers or whatnot. It doesn't really matter so much to me, but let me just show you how weird the spare is on uh, Black Calamat right here. Okay, so now, now it actually performed well. <laughs> the last time I tried to do a review, it was actually going uh, on different angles. But I guess this one, uh, this one went straight in the end, okay? Maybe uh, uh, this fragrance knew that it was getting reviewed today. So, you know, it actually uh, did its best. So, the sprayers are weird. Today, this was okay now. Uh, on black Kalimat, so there's just something to take note of when it comes to the bottle, but it's absolutely wonderful And I believe pricing wise guys. This is between 120 to 140 Okay, uh, and I believe in in uh, Saudi Arabia or the other Gulf countries is probably even cheaper now Let's look at the scent right now. Let's spray it in full Look at that weird <laughs> spray <laughs> <laughs> oh amazing amazing so let's talk about the notes right here opening notes of black calamat right here first and foremost this one opens with frankincense and basil okay so the basil first and foremost guys it is definitely a spicy and fresh start to uh, black Kalamat right here. The basil here is actually inspired from the spice gardens, okay? So with the second note, you've got frankincense. Basil provides an initial blast of green peppery freshness, okay? And it's really, really likable from the beginning. I think it's spot on that it smells like a spice garden. You can expect that in the opening part of Black Kalimat. And then eventually you've got the magic of incense. And every time I speak about incense, guys, I speak about magic. To me, it's magical, okay? It's really not even functional, it's magical. This stuff right here teleports me to the Middle East. From LA to the Middle East, okay, is definitely a sensual note. Smoky, sensual, and sweet. 
that is absolutely impactful okay from the first part of uh, black kalimat you get the basil but then you get the impactful incense note that is also sweet okay so you're gonna get sweet smoky and slightly spicy with a little bit of freshness here in the opening of black kalamat towards the middle you are going to get an increased presence of vanilla all right so the vanilla here sweetens this fragrance even more and in my opinion is a bridge towards the eventual ambery dry down and this one also in my opinion has some violet it is a subtle violet here that in my opinion is here it is listed in the Saudi website. Uh, the Saudi website talked about how vanilla and violet comes together on the mid part of this one. And it's not listed in the US site, but it is listed on the Saudi site. And I do know my violet. So I do smell some violet here on the mid. Absolutely beautiful. Again, just contributes to this sweetness headed to the dry down. And the frankincense is also here, by the way, okay? So towards the mid, it's not just gonna be vanilla frankincense overlaps towards the mid and I mean it's a great bridge like I said headed to the dry down but the dry down here is one of the best okay I think that this right here is the climax of this fragrance because this is where it goes into amber musk and oud okay so it gets real honeyed warm cozy sweet amber uh, is what you're gonna get towards the dry down and the oud here is not challenging at all guys the oud here is basically woody smoky and uh, dark and comforting so it really matches uh, the amber right here and there's also a presence of musk I'm sure you guys can smell the musk right here I mean amber and musk together it's just a real nice warming uh, cozy combo near the end and of course that oud guys which is again smoky woody and dark just perfectly complements this mid to dry down right here and this is really the main reason to buy this guys again to me this is the climax of the entire fragrance where you get exactly what you're looking for right here smoky woody sweet amber cozy magical it's all here in the dry down one of the questions you guys are probably asking me is why isn't this one of my first Arabian Oud videos? I mean, I started the Arabian Oud Top 5 a year ago. I could have gone into Black Kalamat because everybody was talking about Black Kalamat. But instead, I harped uh, about a seal, a seal special edition and Arabian Night. Well, you know, personally, guys, okay, when I did smell this fragrance, it smelled like a pretty common scent in the Middle East, okay? This one here really does smell like, like Bakur, Incense, uh, sweetness uh, mixed with oud um, if you guys go to the Middle East or if you live in the Middle East I think that this is pretty common I think any like you know indoor location like a mall or something like you guys are going to smell something very very similar uh, to black Kalamat right here but if you are you know if you've never been there to the Middle East for example or you're not attuned to the scents out there I mean, this is going to knock your socks off, guys, okay? This is going to knock your socks off because this is the same scent that got me all into it when I first went there. You know, when I got there, I walked inside the mall and I just smelled this really intoxicating, you know, sweet frankincense, oud combination just in the air, guys. I mean, that's what got me hooked. It's that exact memory that got me wanting to buy Arabian oud or Middle Eastern fragrances. So this one right here, guys, if you have never been to the, to the Gulf or to Dubai, I mean, you're definitely going to go nuts once you smell this fragrance right here. This is also a great intro into Arabian Oud or Middle Eastern scents because this is not challenging at all, guys. Okay, this one right here, you're not going to get any buyer's remorse because it's not challenging. There's no barnyard fecal parts here. And of course, you have the amber vanilla combination taking over eventually. Okay, so for those that are looking for some non-challenging uh, Middle Eastern type scents, this is definitely it right here. And of course, if you love amber scents for this type of weather, cold weather, coziness, if that's what you're looking for, guys, this one is heavy on the amber, heavy on the vanilla. So you're going to like this one as well. Let's talk about performance right here and all the talk about reformulation. Okay, so this one right here is a Kuwait bottle. This one was purchased from Kuwait. Um, and Jeremy owns a U.S. bottle, which is a 2017. And he says that 
these are both the same like there's no real difference guys i don't think there is a, a real discernible factor right now that will say that these bottles are reformulated okay but this specific bottle right here from kuwait i think this is like 120 dollars this one performs like for me six hours solidly with the first five hours being impactful and then from five to six probably it reduces into like a draw in scent okay i still won't say skin scent because i can still smell it emanating off of me okay so i would say six hour solid guys impact perfume that's the performance of this specific kuwait bottle how is this fragrance unisex guys absolutely okay i think that for the ladies you're gonna smell absolutely wonderful i mean this one right here like it doesn't matter whether you're a guy or a girl just remember when you're wearing something like this with uh smoky sweet incense i mean this one is really uh magical you know it's magical with a sensual sexy component okay so it's sexual because it's like deep rich sensual sexy uh, that's what you can expect from this one. I think for the ladies, oh man, you girls are gonna get some attention with this one, okay? But I will say this, that this one right here is not for the shy type, okay? So if you are a lady and you're not shy, you wanna put yourself out there, you wanna make an impact, I mean, definitely Black Calamat is for you, 100%. And everybody around you is just gonna love that sweet incense. Uh, around you for the men this one is amazing as well like i said before this already teleports you to the middle east so that's one of the great reasons to wear this but also just because of the amber uh the, the comforting qualities right here of uh ser al kalamat it's definitely comforting is great for the cold weather and again still that sensual component right here can you wear this on date night yeah probably like third to fourth date or if you're hanging with your girlfriend or your wife i think that this is absolutely cozy this is some netflix and chill right here i definitely recommend sir al kalimat number one for those that are looking for the magic of middle eastern fragrances without any type of buyer's remorse after you get the fragrance i think that if you are in those shoes you're gonna get this one right here you have to get this one and if you like cozy winter ambery scents i think without a doubt this is another great reason to buy this and third is if you want something sensual and sexy uh definitely deep dark magical right here black calamat is the fragrance to get okay so that's it what do you guys think of black calamat i posted a photo the other day guys what do you guys think comment below what do you guys think i mean have you really experienced that reformulation guys i want to hear about your experience because i mean i really don't think this specific bottle is weak so let me know in the comments what do you guys like better this one or the og kalamat should we review og kalamat as well let me know in the comments below and do not forget to check out the other arabian oud videos that i have reviewed i will link them at the end of this video and again happy birthday to my homie jeremy right here man more blessings to you your family more health more blessings more money and hopefully not a lot of problems okay so until then guys i'll see you guys on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe god bless take care have a great weekend guys peace